Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is June third, twenty twenty three. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my personal tips and experience how to safely turn your hydrangea flowers blue using distilled white vinegar. Stay tuned. Hydrangeas are deciduous flowering bushes or shrubs. Even though during the winter time, all the leaves will turn yellow and drop to the ground. It's kind of dead and ugly. But hydrangeas are brand new plants. That means during the springtime, all the leaves will come back and it will bloom again. There are so many different species, varieties, or cultivars of hydrangea plants. So the leaves. All flowers might be different. The color of hydrangea flowers could be white, pink, or red. All present multiple colors. A lot of people, including me, love hydrangeas. For me, at least two reasons. I really like hydrangeas. The hydrangea leaves are big and dark green. Against this leaf, the flower size is pretty decent. The second reason for hydrangea plants. You can change the hydrangea flower colors from pink to blue. Also, you can reverse change the blue color to pink. So, guys, I'd like to mention you: not all the hydrangea species or varieties you can change colors. Only specific hydrangea species or varieties you can change colors. For me, at least as far as I know, hydrangea microphylla you can change colors. Microphylla hydrangea, also known as big leaf hydrangea or French hydrangea. Microphylla hydrangea could be classified into two different categories. One is mopahide hydrangea, the other one is lace cap hydrangea. In my driveway garden, I planted at least two different hydrangea microphylla. One is mopahide hydrangea, the other one is lace cap hydrangea. As you can see here, one single flower head from mopahide hydrangea could be reached to one square foot. It's really, really giant. The flower color from lace cap hydrangea could be white or pink. As you can see here, my lace cap hydrangea might be white color. If you want to turn your hydrangea blue, you have to meet at least two basic requirements. One is the soil pH. The other one is availability of alumina in the soil. So generally speaking, if your soil pH is alkaline, your hydrangea flowers will be pink color. If your soil pH is acidic, your hydrangea flowers could be the blue. If your soil pH is about slight acidic, your hydrangea flowers could be multiple colors, might be pink, lavender, purple, or blue. Basically, I'd like to mention you on my YouTube channel. There's one playlist named Hydrangea Propagation and Care. At least 30 videos specifically talking about. How to propagate hydrangea plants using different ways, and how to care for hydrangea plants, and how to turn your hydrangea flowers blue using different ways. If you are interested, you can click the link down below in the description, and also you can click the link on the top right of the screen and watch later. So, if you want to reduce the soil pH and increase the acidity in the soil, or just help lower your soil pH. You can buy some kind of stuff from local garden center. So this is one stuff I purchased from the website. It's called Soil Acidify. So basically, it can lower soil pH. Of course, you can use some other ways. So basically, on my YouTube channel, there's several videos specifically talking about how to lower soil pH using distilled white vinegar. So I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this video. So just as I mentioned early in this video, you have to meet two basic requirements. One is the soil pH. The other one is alumina in the soil. So basically, this one, the only thing you can do just buy this kind of chemicals from garden center. It is called alumina sulfate. So basically, it can also lower your soil pH. On the other way, it can provide alumina in your soil. So. Basically, it's kind of chemical powder. You can see it's chemical powder. So, in soil pH, if the soil pH is acidic, the alumina is soluble, which can be absorbed by the plants through 
roots. But unfortunately, if your soil pH is alkaline, even though your soil has a lot of aluminum, but it is insoluble, it cannot be absorbed by hydrangea plants. So that's why you cannot turn your hydrangea flowers blue. So basically, you have to meet two basic requirements. I want to emphasize this one. One is a soil pH. It has to be acidic. On the other hand, you have to supply a lot of alumina in the soil. In acidic soil, alumina is soluble, which could be absorbed by plants through roots. So now let's talk about distilled white vinegar. So basically, I got this one gallon sized distilled white vinegar from local grocery store. So basically, there's many different brand name of distilled white vinegar. So it's kind of pretty cheap actually. For one gallon size, I think the price is around $3 to $4. Whatever is the brand name, you can choose. So basically, I just choose this one. So it's kind of a little bit confused when I read these labels. Let me explain to you. So basically, they said 5% acidity. Here, concentrated C dilution ratio on side panel. You can check out right here. Ingredients, white distilled vinegar, diluted with water to 5% acidity. So I'm not sure this solution is also 5% acidity, or just you have to further dilute to 5% acidity. Let's read this one here. This product is concentrated and needs to be diluted as indicated below before using to clean. Dilution. Combine one half cup of vinegar with one gallon of water. So I feel a little bit confused about this description and the label. So I once check online, I still cannot figure out so, but anyway, I use this kind of vinegar for a while. I just diluted to water my hydrangea plants. It's pretty safe. So, actually, to be honest, for all the diluted, for all the distilled white vinegar, I think they're pretty much the same. They always label the five percent acidity. So, you'd better read the labels before you using distilled white vinegar. So. Briefly, in this video, I'm going to show you how to dilute this distilled white vinegar. So basically here, they suggest to use one half cup to one gallon of water. So usually I use one cup. It is pretty safe. So let me show you how to dilute this distilled white vinegar. So let me open this jar, the bottle. I just purchased yesterday specifically for this video. So this is a melon cup. It's one cup. So I'm going to pour one cup. I can smell the vinegar. So this is peach. I already filled with one gallon water. So I'm going to pour this one to this bucket to mix well. So basically, as I mentioned, it is pretty safe. I have been using this kind of distilled white vinegar for a long time, for several years. It's pretty safe. I never caused a problem. But in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and experience to try to safely water your hydrangea plants. Okay, so when you are trying to use diluted distilled white vinegar, water your hydrangea plants, to lower soil pH, you should watch your hydrated plants at the base of the plants. So just like this one. Around the base, the trunk. So you should not pour your diluted vinegar 
from the top of your plants. So basically, if you check right here, did you see here? Some flowers dead, and here, and over there a little bit, you can see the leaves already turned brown and wilted and curvy. So basically, one or two weeks ago, so I watched my hydrangea plants use diluted white vinegar. So I just pour from the top part all the way to the plants. So basically, it burns your hydrangea flowers and the leaves. So try to not do like this one. So basically, always watch the base of your plants. Not just a pour from the top of your hydrangea plants, because even though you are diluted, that's still the white vinegar, still very acidic. It's going to burn your leaves and the flowers. Actually, as you know, if you want to lower your soil pH, it's going to take a long time. Doesn't matter use what kind of stuff. So I'd like to show you. You can see here. Did you see some blue color or just a Lavender color on these flowers. So basically, I like a kind of multiple colors, not just only pure blue color or pure pink color. You can see here the color. You can see some bluish color on these pink flowers. You see, right? So basically, another reason. So actually, in March this year in Los Angeles was the wettest March in the past 40 years in Los Angeles. We rained a lot. As you know, even though the rain water is kind of acidic compared with tap water, but a lot of rain water can wash away your vinegar. So basically, as you can see here, so distilled, diluted distilled white vinegar can lower your soil pH and turn your hydrogen flowers blue, but it might take a while. So be patient. Don't try to use high concentrated, improperly diluted, nice steel white vinegar. Pour your plants from the top. It's going to burn your flowers and the leaves. So guys, if you liked today's video, please give a thumb up, like, share, leave comments down below. See you next time.